Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over your first snowfall forecast for the year of 2021 into 2022. We're going to be going over when you typically see your first snowfall and then we're going to be going over whether I think it'll be earlier or later uh, than normal depending on the temperatures and also how much rainfall or precipitation that I'm expecting you to get through the fall and winter time frame. This is already uh, the fifth out, or the sixth out of seven uh, long range forecasts that we've done just this week. We've had your August forecast, your fall forecast, your fall foliage forecast, your winter forecast, your total snowfall forecast, and now we're doing your first snowfall forecast. Tomorrow we're going to have your first frost forecast. If you want to, you can go check out all of those videos. They're on my channel, uh, so you can go check them out. And if you have any questions on any of those or on this video, just leave a comment down below. I answer pretty much all of your questions uh, if you want a personal forecast or you just have a question for me just leave one leave a comment down below and I'll respond within a few hours of you posting it so let's start off with when you see your average for a snowfall this is based on data from 1981 to 2010 uh, so this is based on NOAA data from that time period and it's averaged out again over 30 years so uh, even though uh, you know you might say last year well I saw my first snowfall uh, October 30th uh, while on this map it says my first snowfall should be on November 15th again this is an average uh, that could mean that some years you get it on November 15th other years you get it on October 30th other years you get it on November 30th it would still average out to being a November 15th so there are of course going to be outliers based on the average this is what uh, you when you would typically see your first measurable snowfall which is above one inches uh, one inch of snowfall so not a light dusting but when you get your first one inch plus uh, snowfall for these areas so October 1st or earlier in many of these spots these are the areas that uh, in parts of those kind of little tiny pink areas in parts of Montana Wyoming and Colorado these are the areas that are high up in elevation most of these spots are 12,000 plus feet up uh, so they're very high up in elevation uh, they also typically get most of their snowfall uh, earlier on and later on in the season in the middle months once you're going into uh, January February it starts to actually die down in terms of the amount of a snowfall they actually get uh, they normally will get their first snowfall before October even starts so you're looking at September or even some of these spots early August uh, where you're getting your first snowfall so that is definitely uh, one of the possibilities we could definitely see some of that snowfall quite early on in the season and that would start up uh, on average in parts of Montana Wyoming and Colorado and these are the areas that are high up in elevation not the lower lying uh, areas the next area, this is the October 1st to 31st region. So this is where you would see your first snow snowfall typically within the month of August or in the month of October. Uh, and this is when you're starting to get uh, into the winter time. It's still quite chilly for much, much of the country, but it's actually starting to snow in some of these parts of the country. Normally, a lot of these areas are getting their snowfall later on in October, so closer to October 29th, October 30th, October 31st. Uh, so it's much closer to that November time frame, uh, but still, they're getting it quite early on compared to the rest of the country if you live in this gray area. Some of that is mo mostly due to your elevation and also how far north you are. So, for example, some parts of northern Minnesota, uh, the UP of Michigan, while there's not a big elevation difference, there are definitely some uh, sizable hills in parts of the UP of Michigan or northern Minnesota. There aren't really any big 2,000 plus feet elevation differences uh, in terms of mountain peaks. So you're not dealing with any huge mountains. It's just because you're that far north uh, that you would typically get below 32 degrees quite early in the season. And, you know, once or twice that is going to mix up with some precipitation and allow for some snowfall. November 1st through 15th, if you live in this dark blue region that covers much of the mountainous west as well as for parts of the northern plains, the upper Great Lakes, and then also into the interior northeast, especially in the more elevated uh, areas, this is where you're getting your first snowfall in the first half of November. And again, this is one inch plus snowfall, so this is not counting any dustings or very light amounts of snowfall. That would be less than an inch. It would have to be over an inch for this to count for the first snowfall. 
And again, these are still areas that are fairly far to the north, mainly due to either elevation or just how far north you are uh, that's allowing you to get that snowfall that early on in the season. November 16th through 30th, this is when a lot more areas are starting to get included in the snowfall uh, or in the first snowfall. So the latter half of November is when a lot of areas, uh, between the latter half of November and the early part of December is when a lot of areas get their first snowfall. You can see this area covers much of the west, so the areas that even aren't that high up in elevation in parts of Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, even, the, even though these areas are actually fairly low-lying comparing uh, compared to the rest of the mountainous terrain, these areas would still typically see their first snowfall uh, fairly early on in November, uh, so the middle or even latter part of November for these spots. December 1st through 15th, so the first half of December, if you live within this light blue area, uh, and that covers parts of the southwest, especially in the higher elevation and higher terrain, uh, up through the central plains into parts of the northern Ozarks into the mid-Mississippi River Valley as well as parts of the lower Ohio Valley and then you're looking at through parts of the interior mid-Atlantic as well as the coastal northeast where we're looking at our first snowfall before December 15th. Then in this kind of medium shade of blue uh, in this kind of baby blue color this is going to be for uh, some of the mountains in southern California uh, which still don't get their first snowfall until the latter half of December uh, because of how far south those mountains mountains are located. Also for parts of Ari southern Arizona, southern New Mexico, also through northern Texas, parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, Missouri, through the Tennessee and Ohio River Valleys, and then back out through parts of the coastal mid-Atlantic. This is where you're getting your first snowfall before uh, the end of the year. So these areas are getting their first snowfall within the latter half of December. And again, this is on average. So there are definitely some winters where you're getting your first snowfall in this uh, baby blue color. Uh, but before that time, when you're getting your first snowfall, maybe November 28th, let's say, uh, even though your average is December 20th, just as an example. So it can definitely be uh, quite early or it could be quite late. You could get your first snowfall in a few of these spots maybe in January so uh, it can definitely be later or earlier uh, than this time frame this is just the average time that you would see your first snowfall after December 31st, uh, if you live within uh, kind of this almost white color, this gray color uh, there uh, in parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, a little bit of Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky, as well as Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas, this is where we're looking at your first snowfall after December 31st, and snowfall can be quite rare in some of these spots. So even some of these spots uh, in, some year, in some years would not see any snowfall uh, at all. So that is definitely a possibility. Most of these areas are going to get at least one. One snowfall per year and most of that is going to come in the new year after the new year uh, into January or February in almost a light green color uh, which covers much of the southwest uh, much of california nevada arizona as well as for a lot of texas louisiana mississippi alabama Flo northern florida uh, southern half of georgia and southern south carolina this is where snowfall is rare so you're not typically seeing this in the average year uh, so this could come at any time normally these areas if they would see snowfall they're going to see it in january uh, or early february Th those are the two coldest time periods uh, and because of that the snowfall line can come a little bit further south and if you can get one of those rare occurrences where it, ma it matches up with a storm then you can definitely get some snowfall uh, in these parts no snowfall normally in an average year in a parts of uh, much of Florida into southeastern Louisiana, southernmost Texas into uh, southern and southwestern Arizona as well as parts of southwestern uh, southwestern California so these areas uh, average no snowfall per year, not saying that they don't get any snowfall at all. Uh, if you remember last year, parts of uh, the uh, parts of the southern Texas area did get some snowfall, even though in an average year they would get no snowfall uh, at all, not even just rare snowfall. So it's very rare that some of these areas get snowfall. But again, it is possible. Uh, I believe we saw back in the 80s uh, where Miami saw snowfall. That's not going to show up on this map. It's not going to show up that they average rare snowfall because it's very, very 
very rare uh, but they they would still they do still have the shot of getting snowfall so even if you are in this yellow shot uh, this yellow uh, area you still do have a shot of getting snowfall uh, pretty much anywhere in the United States although of course your chances are going to go up the further north you go now here's where I'm expecting it to be earlier or later than normal just depending on especially temperatures and precipitation patterns uh, I'm expecting it to be slightly earlier if you live in the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, also into the interior northeast. Now, one of my reasoning, uh, one of the reasonings for that is because I think by early November, especially October and early November, I think it will start cooling down into these areas, and that's going to align just before, uh, just before you average your first snowfall. So I think it will be slightly earlier, probably just by a couple or a few days. Uh, but it is, I still think it will be earlier within these areas. Uh, I don't know by how many days exactly that's going to be. But I do think it'll be earlier than normal if you live within this light blue zone much earlier or significantly earlier if you live uh, within the lower Great Lakes in the Ohio Valley. This area typically sees their first snowfall sometime within November, so from November 1st to November 30th, depending on exactly where you are. Even some of these areas see it uh, a little bit later than that into December, but for the most part, in the month of November, uh, it will be colder than normal. It will be most likely more active than normal uh, over this area. I think you're going to see more storms sliding to the south by this time, uh, and that should allow the northern front of that to just clip parts of the Ohio Valley and just clip the lower Great Lakes. So because of that, I'm going to be putting you guys in that uh, significantly earlier shade and that's where I have a fairly good confidence that you'll be uh, earlier than normal. And that probably means just 5 or 10 days earlier than the normal first snowfall. So I don't think it's going to be anything major. But I do think you're going to have a good shot of getting it earlier uh, than when you would typically see your first snowfall in these areas. Uh, and then looking at for parts uh, for the rest of these areas, I don't think uh, it's going to be too far above or below normal for most of these spots. I think it will be probably in the western United States a little bit later than normal slightly late uh, compared to your average but I don't think if you live in the southeast east coast I think it'll be fairly close uh, to your average day of first uh, of first snowfall if you live in the west one of the reasonings I have is because for October November uh, time frame I am thinking that it will probably be uh, October November December time frame I do think it will be warmer uh, for these areas so when you have that warmer pattern in place it will be hard uh, especially when you're still in fall when your average high temperatures are not below 32 degrees yet in most of these spots it will be hard to get snowfall when you're in a warmer pattern so I think it will be slightly late but again I think it's only going to be by a matter of a few days uh, nothing that's going to be true uh, too dramatic in these spots so that is going to wrap it up for today's video if you have any questions just leave a comment on any of my videos even if it's not a long range videos a uh, long range video I do answer all of your questions even if it is off topic and not related to the subject of the video so leave a comment down below I answer within just a couple of hours of you uh, posting it uh, that is gonna, that, again that is going to wrap up for today's video please consider liking the video subscribing and turning on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye